friends how you all are doing today welcome back to my youtube channel cloud with mossy uh, happy sunday to all of you uh, today's session is about uh, another compute service and the name of the compute service is light cell okay so uh, what i am going to do is first of all i will cover a uh, theoretical part and then we can jump to the console and do some hands on with the light cell service okay so let me give you a quick overview about what is light cell so basically as you can see i am sharing this documentation from amazon website i'll share the link for your uh, you know reference so this is nothing but it's a free virtual cloud server so it states get started for free with amazon light cell a powerful virtual cloud server built for reliability and performance i'll come to know why they mentioned as started for free so that is very interesting i'll just tell you uh, just to give you an overview uh, we can build applications and websites fast with pre configured cloud resources this is very important pre configured okay. see a light cell gets you started quickly with pre configured linux and windows application stacks and in an intuitive management console you can focus on your code not your bill light cell bundles all the resources you need into a single simple price light cells automatically configures networking access and security environments taking the guesswork out of launching your server so you may have uh, you know many of the question and one common common question you might have is okay how about ec2 why we are not going to use ec2 and why we are now considering as a light cell as private server okay so this is very valid question see a uh, consider in a scenario say you want to uh, <coughs> install nginx say let me give an example and in on an ec2 instance what you need to do is you need to launch an ec2 instance first wherein you have to go through different different phases like you need to configure networking storage security okay everything uh, then you will launch the ec2 instance and once that ec2 instance is launched you will need to connect to the instance and then you will or uh, install your appropriate softwares or packages you can say so here in case nginx you need to install so say this is <clears throat> this is fine if you have a bit knowledge about aws <clears throat> i mean sorry for my voice but in case you are say you are someone like you are a developer and you do not uh, you don't have time or you are not aware about the infrastructure backend infra okay you just want your nginx to be running quickly as possible in that case you can consider light cell it supports linux as well as windows application stacks as you can see and there are different different stacks or stacks you can say as software it's already have you can say it's you know kind of pre configured instances are there you just need to select based on your requirement and you will, it will be launched in, uh, in a less than 1 minute okay so we will get to know when we will perform the uh lab session now about the use cases the first use case is build small business applications okay the launch line of business software such as file storage sharing backup financial and accounting software and more if you are looking for you know, building small business application and as quickly as possible you can consider using light cell another use case of using this is create custom websites we can build our own website in just few clicks and believe me it's you know it's very fast uh, in terms of launch time so we can build uh, the website in just few clicks with pre configured applications like wordpress magento prestor shop and joomla okay so if you are aware of you or if you are use these uh, uh, earlier okay so you might be knowing okay if you go with the traditional approach like uh, installing the ec2 instance and then all these things then it can take uh, say even in the cloud it can take couple of minutes but with uh, light cell it's very fast another use case is launch uh, launch simple web applications so we can use the pre configured development stack like lamp nginx mean and node.js to get online quickly and easily and we have another use case that talks about spin up test environment if you are looking for some test environment where you can say do some testing and you can delete say kind of you know sandboxes or test environment then you can consider light cell and it is you know it's a great idea of using light cell for that now let's also touch base 
about the pricing so with amazon light sale on free tier so if you are uh, you know going to use a, with the free tier we can get a, a, a try three months of amazon light sale for free okay so here uh, you can see if there's some description as given and free tier what is the offering from the free tier is three months of trial period in wherein we can use 750 hours per month and here we have a couple of other options so these options are based on the resources okay uh, resources means if you say uh, on the same page as you can see there are may it can be unix or linux or windows based on our application if we can select the first one which starts 512 mb of memory and 2 vcpu so it may cost us 3.5 or 5 us dollar per month okay and this goes on if say the resources like say here in case memory from 512 if it is an increase by 1 gb then the price may go up and something like that okay so it, it's going down as you can see same is true about windows so based on the resources price goes on here we have the three months of a uh, free uh, free trial based on see uh, here we have a link to our three months of uh, Amazon Light Cell for free. Let me just open it for you, and they, they need to get to know what is there in the free trial. So here, yeah, let this page open, and on this page, this is the home page for your Amazon Light Cell. Okay, and this is. Amazon Light Sales, as I earlier mentioned, is a compute service. So where you will find is, you need to log into the AWS Management Console, go to Services, and under Compute, okay, you can see these are various compute service, and out of that, Light Cell is one of the service. Okay, we have other services like like Outpost, okay, Lambda, Elastic Beans, like these are all compute services, and out of that. Light cell is one of the service. So you can launch from here as well, or you can directly launch as you can see on this page. Okay. So let me just go back. Let's cover this quickly what it has. So here you can see for limited time, create an account now and get access to 90 days for free on 8 USD. 12 USD or 20 USD plans when using Windows. So for Windows, we have free uh, for 90 days. It's free for these plans. Okay, so plans in terms of whatever you are using. So here, in this case, in case of Windows, you can use maybe these three configuration: 512 MB per memory, uh, 512 uh, sorry, 512 MB memory or 1 GB memory or 2 GB memory. Okay, for 90 days. This is covered in for the 90 days for Windows. Let's see about Unix Linux. What it says is uh, get access to 90 days for free on 3.5 uh, US dollar per month, 5 dollar per month, and 10 dollar per month plan when you use Unix Linux. Yeah. So for this as well, first three plans like these three, which states uh, resources from 512 MB memory to 2 GB of memory are free. Okay so for 90 days okay so that is something about the free tier now let me go to the console okay here and you can see right now i do not have any instances so it says you have no instances right now okay and this is the page so creating a light cell instance is very simple you need to just click on this creating instance and by default it will pick up see for me it's mumbai uh, zone A that is AP South A you can select the region based on your requirement and you can change you can see here the button change it to this region and availability zone pick your instance images as we know light cells have two different support two different applications or Unix or Linux or Windows and here under that you can see 29 blueprint for Linux and for Windows 6 blueprints it means it is you know based on your application so blueprints you can, you can say kind of for your software packages okay or use cases so in case of unix linux you can select say wordpress or wordpress multi-site lamp node.js etc so whenever we select any of these it means it is you know pre-configured you can say kind of template 
it's available and it will be installed and it will be available as soon as the instance is launched this is very straightforward okay again in the select blueprint we have type like app plus os or operating system only okay if you are looking for os based uh, say you uh, you need something like you know uh, ubuntu 20.04 tls sorry uh, lts or if you are looking for say <coughs> freebsd so these are different different operating system if you are looking for simple just os only you can select any of these and that os will be available for you and then you can uh, customize it as per your requirement in app plus os it is like we have these ones so we have overall 29 blueprints here let's see for windows again windows we have app plus os and operating system only so on the os only we have windows server 2022 2019 and 2016 okay so if you are looking for any of these uh, os based only then you can select if you need app plus OS, say SQL Server 2022 Express or SQL Server 2019 or SQL Server 2016 Express, then you can select this and it will be available. So as a kind of you know pre-configured template. Okay. So for this exercise purpose, let me select Linux or Unix. And out of this, I will go with app plus OS because I'm looking for something uh, you know which has app as well as OS already there I will select uh, say suppose engines okay as you know nginx is something like uh, it will provide you like you know website uh, web based application so something like that so here it says nginx package by bitnami 1.25 so this is the version of nginx that we are going to use okay. there's a little bit information it is packaged by Bitnami, provides a complete PHP, MySQL, and Nginx uh, production environment. It also bundles PHP, MyAdmin, SQLite, Image, Magic, Fast, CGI, and Memcache, and these all, you know, whatever it's mentioned, it's already there. In terms of security, what it says is it is secure by default as all ports except HTTP, HTTPS, and SSH ports are closed. Okay. Let's encrypt SSL certificates are supported through an auto configured script. This image is packaged by Bitnami as secure and up to date using industry best practices. So you need not worry about its security, firewall rules, and you know encryption. It's already taken care by this image. You can see. Now, uh, optional thing is say if you want a user script, if you have a your script that should be there, you can click on here and you can copy that you can either write or copy paste your script user script here okay, this is optional you will connect to your instance using default ssh key we have default ssh key that we can download otherwise we can also change the ssh key using uh, this button next option is automatic snapshots create a backup image for your instance and attach this on a daily schedule if you are looking for automated backup you can simply click on this button and customize the time when your you should you know your backup should happen and it will be taken care i'm not going to do that now let's come for uh, choose your instance plan so instance plan you can say there's uh, it's uh, uh, mentions about a select a network type if you are if you have watched my last video i had uh, discuss about IPv4 and IPv6. So the recommended here is a dual stack. Dual stack means it uses it includes both public IPv4 and private IPv6 uh, addresses. So whenever the instance is launched, it would have both IPv4 and IPv6 addresses, which is recommended. You can see the button here. And if you are not looking for this one, then you can select. But here you can see it's uh, it's disabled. So based on your image or based on your uh, blueprint, these will be taken care of, okay? Now select a size. So here, these are different size and we can sort it out based on price per month or memory or processing that is CPU power or storage or transfer that is network transfer. Here by default, it is selected price per month, okay? And 
as we already mentioned for first three plans it is for uh, first three months or uh, it's free for 90 days if we select either of these three plans and it will be free for first 90 days afterwards you will be charged based on the pricing so you can check out the pricing i will try to share the link for the pricing as well the price calculator okay uh, say if i sort it out based on memory you can see we have different different memory options okay again okay, let me sort it out based on processing that is cpu that is vcpus and it has sorted storage if we are looking for a instance with the uh, largest uh, storage so we have this one this plan plan 12 1 to 8 0 gb this is the largest plan okay and then it gets reduced and finally based on transfer as well based on networking aspects also we can select so let me just select the basic one that is default price per month and i will go with first one that is five years d per month okay then let's go back identify your instance name we can give a name whatever we want and the number of instance if we want you know to create multiple instances then we can here you can it's multiplied by one if i need two or three instances just i will just change this count okay tagging options we know the tags there can be 50 tags up to 50 tags we can attach key only tags and key value tags so we can add the tags if we require okay i don't know that I'll just click on create instance and now you can see how quickly it's just less than one minute you can see it is right now in the pending state okay uh -huh. let me just refresh this page you can see it started running okay so it's not even one minute it just hardly 10 to 20 seconds and our instance is started running and it is now use uh, our uh, it is ready for usage okay here the first button is if we want to connect it on a command line and there are three radio buttons here we can either connect manage stop reboot or delete okay we can use these five options and if i want to see more details about this I will just click on this name and it will give us more details okay. so the first option is how you will connect to this instance uh, here they have a default uh, keys uh, SSH keys if you need to connect using putty so you can just download it and it will be downloaded here you can connect it to our SSH client like putty okay then the next page is metrics like kind of monitoring you can say so its default monitoring is there available you can check it out snapshot as you remember we haven't selected but we can even configure automatic snapshot from using this option or we can also take the manual snapshot okay. so you can create a snapshot to uh, to backup your instance its systems disk and attach disk okay so we, if i click on the create snapshot okay and i will just mention the name and if i click on create so it will create the manual snapshot and we can schedule the automatic one i'm not going to do that i'll just cancel this out storage option is also available we can also attach additional disk as well as you can see here by clicking this option and it will allow us to choose the disks whatever we need and give the name as well okay so say right now it is having 20 gb of the disk if i want i can go and keep adding the disk to that okay so i'm not going to do that let me go back networking as we have selected dual stack which means we have ipv4 as well as we also have ipv6 okay so you can check out my video on ipv6 and how it's format it's hexadecimal format and you know, how to read all this all this thing in terms of security group it has allowed these ports ssh http and https by default and any ipv4 can do that restricted to okay so you can see we can either delete or edit as well these option same is true about our ipv6 firewall or security group tool as well 
for load balancing we haven't selected hence it's not listed here but we can add this instance to a load balancer okay uh, about this and also for the distribution the instance is not being used as a origin for the distribution so hence it is not showing otherwise we can select it and configure it for the cdn that is content delivery network okay so that we can discuss later domain so see this instance so it is showing you have no domains available that can use this instance if we want we can use this light set to register a new domain with route 53 so you can also check out my video on route 53 this is basically routing and you know domain registry service in the aws so where you can you know it's kind of uh, like it gives us the provision some something like bedrock uh, you know other uh, different different uh, uh, utilities similar to that amazon has this amazon route 53 so we can uh, if we have a domain register already then we can add our instance this light cell instance by creating a dns instance. okay right now i don't have so we can by clicking this register domain we can do that so now let me just copy this public ipv4 address this one i will just type in the paste it in the browser and you can see we got this nginx page okay because see it is already installed and you can see you are now running nginx open source package by bitman so that is template that or blueprint that it already has and we can get started by clicking this button we can connect to php my admin there are lots of uh, you know things and you can see it's how quick it is and uh, you can compare this the way we can do the other way like installing on the ec2 instance so i hope you got the point okay so let me just go back okay we can connect to php my admin we can you can explore so along with that we also have other uh, things as well that you can explore okay so if i want i can reboot it or stop as well so let me stop okay so it is stopping and it will be stopped in the next few seconds we can also have the option to force stop okay we can use that as well and if i need to delete i will just simply select uh, these three button access to and delete and if i want i can click on this delete button and it will delete this instance okay so we got this one this process will completely remove the instance other resources uh, that rely on this instance might be affected so we can choose this option if you want to delete and ensure once you know uh okay, not delete an instance, but okay since it is being stopped hence we are not able to delete it so remember this point while instance is being stopped we cannot delete it should be available yeah right now it's stopped now let's try to delete now that's it so you got it right it's very simple and very powerful and in, in if you are looking for something very quickly then you can go for that so i would you know recommend just explore based on your region uh you know whatever uh, best work for you say wordpress or lamp etc okay or node.js and you can check it out and another important thing is uh, below each blueprint so these are all blueprint, blueprints and there's something written so here you can see below wordpress it's 6530 so this is version of that particular you know blueprint you can say PrestaShop also has some versions there, okay, Nginx has, so these are all versions that gets installed when, or you know, not installed, you can say, these are available when we will start using this instance. So friends, that's it for today. I hope uh, you got the point, okay, and uh, let me quick summarize what is LightCell again. Basically, LightCell is something that it helps to build applications and website fast with pre-configured cloud resources. So the pre-configured uh, cloud resources means we uh, we are referring to blueprints and right? these are basically important when 
you are something that uh, you just want to focus on your code you are not worrying about your bills or underlying infrastructure you just want your instance at the earliest you can go for that in terms of use cases we have different use cases something the uh, one use cases for you know building small applications such as like file storage sharing backup etc you can create customized website using lightsail which has application like you know wordpress magenta desktop shop etc we can also use it as you know uh, to launch a simple web application using lamp nginx etc and uh, we uh, have another use case that is also very important if you are looking kind of sandbox or you know testing environment so lightsail is uh, can be you know, a great idea with that you can go for it and uh, it's very quick and I hope you know you uh, will find it very interesting when you start using light cell. So friends that's it for today. Uh, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate and uh, please don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's Cloud with Mohsin. And thank you so much again and have a great weekend. Thank you. Bye bye.